On 22nd September 1992, John Deacon wrote a letter for the Queen Fan Club Autumn Edition. John expressed his genuine emotions about the band's two-decade journey, which also involved performing at the Freddie Mercury Tribute Concert. He wrote, Dear all, hope you are all well. I am not sure what to say or write in this letter to you. I have been staring at a blank page for 20 minutes now wondering what to write about. Brian, Roger, Freddie and myself worked together for 20 years, which is longer than a lot of marriages these days. We may have been able to carry on for another 20 years. Who knows? The tribute concert at Wembley earlier this year was put together very quickly, and I was a little unsure about playing on a stage without Freddie to sing. A video of the show is scheduled to release this Xmas. This seems to be a time to reflect on the past and take stock in the present. Meanwhile, reading the Maastricht Treaty for Amusement. Bye for now, John. John only made a few more appearances with Brian and Roger after making this final statement in 1997. As far as we are concerned, this is it. There is no point carrying on. It is impossible to replace Freddie. He retired after this statement. For two remarkable decades, the iconic Queen lineup thrived, a testament to the enduring friendships of four extraordinary individuals. Despite their unique personalities and quirks, they preserved as a professional and dedicated unit, truly becoming a band of brothers. Their music was their shared passion, 